me today. Um, it's August the 22nd. Um, uh, off on the way to um, Five Lake. Um, there's a trail up there um, called the Five Lake Loop Trail. Um, that, and then it encompasses part of the uh, North Country Trail too. Um, so it's. Um, I'm going to start today at uh, Spring Lake Campground and then head south on the uh, uh, Five Lake Loop Trail and then down to the old US 3131 campground, stay overnight tonight and then head north um, on the uh, North Country Trail um, back up to Spring Lake Campground. It's, it's like 10 miles on the first leg and 11 miles on the second leg so um, I think the second leg is going to be more picturesque. The first leg's got some historical uh, significance to it but I'm not sure that I'm going to see a lot of that, but um, anyway, so uh, looking forward to it, um, glad you could come along. Um, here we are at the, um, the signpost at Spring, Spring Lake Campground, and uh, yeah, so the parking is just to the left over here, and that's where the trailhead is too. So as you come up here on the road off 131, You'll see this sign just over to the left is the is the parking. So um, there's some signs, there's some uh, arrows pointing to the trailhead. Just take a quick look over there. I'm just about to get my gear on. It's uh, it was a three-hour drive for me, so it's uh, nearly exactly ten o'clock right now. So uh, let's see. Trailhead, and we can see here North Country Trail, old 131. This old 131 campground is where I'm heading to. Um, which is there's a path there. From here, up here, down here, down to there. Oh, sorry, down to there. So there is another campground there, but I'm going to be heading to here. So um, yeah, so going up here, we up here and uh, run parallel with the 131 for a little while, then cross over on the bridge, and then head up uh, parallel 186 up to that corner there, and down here. So yeah. So after a quick look around. Um, interestingly, the trail starts out by crossing the railroad line, just at the back of the side. So I'm going to follow the North Country Trail. And there's some blue, blue tabs on the trees. It's a beautiful day. Oh my God! Um, beautiful temperature. And there's the start of the trail over there. You can see it. Check left and look for any trains coming. That's it. And so we're off. Off on the trail. So it was kind of an interesting start to it. So here's the uh, sign for the turn off for the North Country Trail to the left. So it's not actually a bridge, um, just a crossing. And 131, so this is going to be fun. So, uh, turn my camera off and <laughs> get across. <laughs> well, there's no try, there's either get across or dock. So that wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, there was a gap in traffic, no problem. Single lane highway there. Yeah, there's a little friend just so, sunning himself on the trail, guarding a snake. You don't get many poisonous ones in Michigan, but he's quite a big one though. I'd say he's probably getting on for two foot long. That's pretty cool. I'm going to try and go around him so I don't disturb him. About an hour in. So I've gone from there to there. And this is the intersection with, uh, I'm not sure which way it is, but 186 right there. So and actually, this is a, you can join the trail here. There's actually a, just around the corner here. 
was a parking spot where you could leave probably a couple of cars. A couple of cars here. And then either carry on on the, up the North Country Trail over that way. Or go down the uh, Five Lake Loop Trail this way. So, and that's the way I'm heading. So, although they said there's no water on this section, actually, if you were stuck, there is a pond just here about half a mile from the intersection with uh, 186. So, you could actually, if you had a water fill, to get some water here. So, no problem. Just got to keep following the red blazes. Okay. Over and out. So this is an in interesting section of the of the trail. Um, it's an old disused railroad rail rail line that was used in the 1800s, and there was a small town here now abandoned um, at the other end of this uh, behind me, at the other end of the line called Walton, and Walton had a thousand people in it at one point, with four saloons and. Uh, two bordellos and God and I don't know uh, 800 loggers um, logging this whole area so and they were supplied by this line and it's in it's known as the spuds line because they used to bring potatoes and onions and so on and so forth in there as well as take the, the logs out so yeah so this is the uh, the spuds line I made a mistake here so when you're coming down towards number two, number two road, number two road, right? So you come down this trail, there's a little berm at the end of the trail just before it hits number two road. Don't go past that berm. This is the trail here, okay? Turn off to the left and follow the trail on the left. No worries about water now. Uh, just after uh, number two road, this, uh, here's the creek. So if you've got a water <coughs> water filter, you could get a drink uh, here. And just a short walk down the bank of the, the stream, or Walton Outflow Stream. And here we are, we're rejoining the North Country Trail. And uh, behind me is the Five Loop Trail where I just came off with the red blazes. And now it becomes blue blazes and that's heading south on the North Country Trail and this is heading towards the campsite. First view of the mighty Manistee River. Very cool. So here we are on uh, site 13. Um, everything's out. I've actually got my fishing rod assembled but I don't know if I'm going to go I'm going to take a walk down the river and see what's down there. I've got the Land Shan 2 up. Um, pegged a bit high, but it's okay. Um, uh, looks okay. I'm not going to peg the sides out tonight because uh, it's not supposed to rain, so just it's just really keeping the dew off. So, sure, got a bit damp, so yeah, so got some firewood, some small store, some birch bark. Some larger stuff should keep me going for an hour or something, maybe a couple of hours. So that's all I need. So, okay, so I'm going to go down to the river.
and uh, see if I can catch myself a fishy. Got the old campfire going. A uh, load of uh, birch bark, plenty on the trail coming in. I just gathered a little bit. There's a few. There's a bit round here actually, but uh, on the trail coming in, a load of birch trees down. So don't have to worry about getting any fire starting materials. So this is um, site 13. Um, it's not bad. Um, no widow makers above me. Uh, it's pretty flat. So, uh, so yeah, anyway, so. Got a little bobber here, pegged at both ends. And then down at this end is a little floating black ant fly. And uh, caught a small rainbow trout on that last night. So I'm gonna give it another try this morning and see if I can uh, get a slightly bigger one. grab it with some confidence. It's something that you see on the water at the time. I put a little wooden peg in actually one side. This is
is Cafe Taster's Choice. Mm -hmm. So today I've got to do this section back up to Spring Lake Cangrown slightly farther, um, about 11 miles. So, uh, yep. So, yep. So I'm going to get off a little bit earlier this morning, and uh, hopefully get there a little. So starting out on the next leg of the journey. Um, uh, spent a pretty good night, not terrible, although I'm glad I bought earplugs because uh, the uh, down at the Sold 131 campsite, the um, noise traffic noise traffic noise from the 131 road just across the way is terrible all through the night. So uh, I'm glad I bought. Glad I bought um, earplugs because I, I slept reasonably well. Of course, you never sleep quite well on the first night of a camp. Uh, campsites are nice. They have a uh, salsa of wood thing here for six dollars. The campsites are actually fifteen dollars a night, and uh, you can fish down here off a little dock area. So if you wanted to bring some fishing rods. Um, So this is Con Conservation Road, um, just after the uh, headquarters headquarters lake. Um, it's a little bit confusing, but yeah, it's hard to see on the map. But uh, yeah, Conservation Road, and uh, up here somewhere, I I'm going to cut right back into the woods, so can't be that far. So uh, just uh, two miles to go. Coming to the end now. Whew, feet are feeling it a bit, but um, yeah, nearly, nearly there. So anyway, yeah. it's the last mile of the trail here. Although I did take a couple of little detours for water. Um, some places the access to the stream is not that easy. Um, I, I ended up actually going at the uh, scenic route at about seven miles. No, uh, not seven miles. Uh, anyway, it's uh, it's the scene, lower trail scenic route. You can get some water there. Uh, it's not bad water if you filter it, obviously. Um, so uh, it just seems to have uh, dragged on this side a little bit. Um, perhaps it's me dragging. It was a little bit more technical than the five loop trail. Uh, a few more windy bits, a few more bits where you had to watch you really watch your foot in. So it's taking me a little longer than I thought. And uh, just trying to keep hydrated too. It's another warm day, and uh, I didn't get I didn't get started until tenish. I did go fishing this morning. I didn't catch any either. 
but uh, that's probably why I didn't start till 10. So anyway, uh, so signing out now, and uh, it's a great trail, uh, the Five Loop, the Five Five Lake Loop Trail. I went uh, south to north, or you could do north to south, um, either way. Um, but it's uh, it's a real, it's not too much elevation change. I think I've maybe done I don't know, 20, 25 floors on my, it says on my phone total. So, uh, I mean, a lot of the trails pretty level like this.